Turn on team. So we are back. It's been a little while. We had a story to tell. Um, I went out this Saturday thinking I was a gangster and that I was going to go run a six minute, 30 minute mile. I just had a wild idea. I just wanted to go test. And I assumed that I would be able to go and write, run a 630 mile really without thinking about it too much. And then I ran a seven minute and seven second mile. And that was really, really annoying. So now I have to train a little bit. Um, just to give you kind of like a little bit of background of why this is annoying, this year by itself, kind of in the last six months, I have snatched 225, clean 305, done a 258 friend, did a 22 mile trail run, and um, yeah, some other stuff. I don't remember all of them, but I, all the feats of strength that I deem important, um, I've got, oh, I squatted. 225 for 200 and I squatted 315 for 20 straight so like all of my uh, like numbers have been really good lately and I've been really happy and then I went and ran this race and then I was really really bothered um, so now I'm training for it and I've been out to the track a couple days which is why I've been on here less um, and I am changing my strength training up a lot um, Mainly the goal is no longer about kind of like getting stronger or maintaining a lot of strength. It's really about like um, structural maintenance, which I'm a big fan of. So I'm just basically going through to make sure all the muscles get turned on, all the big movements happen, and I'm able to stay healthy, stay fast. Um, and the strength training is not the main goal right now, which is super weird because typically that's all I really care about. Um, so what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you a little bit of just what it looks like for me training for a six and a half minute mile. And I am going to just walk through a circuit. It's going to take about half an hour and I am going to just do all the big movements. So we got a row, we got a pull, um, a horizontal pull with the row, vertical pull. We're going to go pull ups. Um, we've got the parallettes here today, so we're going to be doing some abs. Um, and then we've got squat and overhead pressing, in which I am going to just be doing thrusters set to 10, which is going to be great. And then um, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be great. I am really stoked about this. I haven't had a real goal since I competed at the 2014 regionals. And since then, I've just been loving training. Um, but it's felt like really, really good to get back on the track. So. Um, I'm going to come over, hang out a little bit in between rounds, but this is, this is the big circuit. That's the recycling truck making all the noise. They'll be gone in a second. So sorry about the noise.
that's pretty much the day. We're gonna go four more rounds of that. Nice and slow and controlled. I don't know if anybody, I'd love to know what your mile time is. If you wanna just put it in the comments. I'm like super geeked out on this right now. It's week one of training, which is always like the most fun. It's like so new. Um, but it's just really rad to have like a real goal again. Um, and done so much good strength work over the past year the past many years but 36 years old to do all that stuff is really really rad for me um exciting
one of my favorite parts about doing these circuits it's like it's never the goal to do like Metcon stuff when you do this but just from all the bracing and moving through five movements and 15 reps per you end up getting like an awesome conditioning element so quickly like a really healthy one not like red lines not just like totally beat to shit but it's also way more than doing like a 1RM where it's just brace and go it's kind of just like consistent movement for two minutes maybe a little bit more and then uh, like I don't know it just starts to add up it's a lot of reps so I'm going 10 on the rows, 6 pull ups um, which I really like that combo going horizontal to vertical um, that's an awesome 6 pull ups isn't that hard 6 pull ups after doing 10 rows smokes your back a little bit and then you go right into the vertical pull your body weight turns into a million pounds um, dropping down into the parallettes I like really 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 struggle with pure core stability body weight stuff um, I like moving weights around body weights really hard uh, so that's always a challenge for me and then uh, I have uh, my neighbors are walking by I have to say hello um, and then cowball thrusters they're a breeze but they get your heart moving so fast finish up with some RDLs so you go squat right into the hinge um, all hip hip and knee um, so just a fun little circuit you got three rounds to go
Yeah. So another thing you want to, it's always fun to think about when we do this is, uh, huh, changing as much of the movement as you can, right? Like intraset or intra workout, just small changes when there isn't like a, when the goal is just capacity, just physical capacity. The idea is you want to be able to do as many things in as many different directions as possible. So being super rigid with your movement movements is really important if you're going for like building to a one RM. But if you think about general athleticism, if you played sports or do anything where there's a lot of transitions, everything's different every single time you do it. So you can train that, that idea in like many different small ways. So you'll notice for the RDLs and the barbell work, I always try and change my grip up a little bit just to get a tiny different stimulus. Um, as the, as the pull-ups, you know, you start to get into like 30 pull-ups towards the end. There might be a little bit of a kip, which I'm okay with. Um, trying to keep like a super hollow body at the beginning. You can play with the width of your grip, a little bit wider, a little bit more narrow. All that stuff's super cool. It's a little bit harder with the thrusters and the kettlebell. It's got to go down into the right place or you start to get some shoulder injuries. Um, I'm trying to go 15 and 5 on the parallettes, but I suck at it. So 20 total seconds is pretty good for me. Um, 15 and 5 is like the goal, but I'll accumulate 20 seconds on each of those. And then I'm taking a little bit wider of a grip on the um, RDLs as well. So just, it's important to have to understand what perfect form is. But once you have perfect form, it's totally cool to just mix it up and uh, have some fun, play with movement. And it's actually significantly better for your like physical capacity to be able to do the same movement in many different planes with many different positions. Uh, it's just a really good thing to uh, benefit your training. And you can't see this from home, but the greatest thing in the world happened yesterday. I think the trees stopped having sex. Like, if you're a really good looking tree, you already had all your sex for the year. Because the pollen is like, just as of yesterday, is like zero now, which is amazing. This whole gym was coated the other day, like coated. It was so gross. Just from the weekend too. Like I, I vacuumed and swept and did everything on Friday and it just <sighs> nuked it again. All right, round four.
Oh. So. One more here. Man. Circuits. Circuit training so hard. Gets your heart moving so quick. This is beautiful though. We got one more. I really like that one. The narrow grip really extends a lot of the ranges of motion and a lot of that stuff. Um, pull ups, you feel like you have to pull yourself so far. You can see how overweight I am with the uh, with all of the L sits. Legs get so heavy, core so weak, low abs, low abs. Oh, last one here. Probably gonna keep this pretty normal, just uh, regular width grips on everything. Move through it five and five with the kettlebell just to be balanced. Uh, try and get the L sits in two sets, but you saw how four set went. Fifth set's gonna be hard.
There you go. Hey, rep, you got to throw in the 135 thrusters. It's got to do it. You can only be so responsible for so long. Friends, that's it. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, follow along on this fun journey to a 630 mile. We'll see you guys Saturday, I hope. <laughs>